There are some men's style topics that really tend to divide people, and this is definitely one of those. What's up, guys? I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style, and today we're talking about whether or not you should wear a watch with a tuxedo. First, I want to tell you this video is presented in partnership with Crown & Caliber. Crown & Caliber is the number one place to buy and sell pre-owned luxury watches online. He Spoke Style viewers can save $150 off their first watch purchase at Crown & Caliber. All you have to do is use code HSS150. So wearing a watch with a tuxedo. Some people say it's okay. Some people say no way. Uh, so this is one of those topics in menswear that never goes away. People have been arguing about it, debating it for a very long time. And the thing is, as is often the case, there are two sides to the story here. And I have to say that both sides make some very valid points. So what I'm going to do is to talk through some of the reasons that are generally given against wearing a watch with a tuxedo, as well as some of those that say wearing a watch with a tuxedo is totally fine. And by the end of this video, you will definitely know exactly where I stand on this. So there are two popular arguments against wearing a watch with a tuxedo. And the first one is very simple. It's just that it doesn't look right. And to be perfectly honest with you, I think that's somewhat of a fair point. A tuxedo is a very simple garment. It's minimalistic and it has very clean and elegant lines. And I'd be lying to you if I didn't say that there have been times that I've put on my own tux, added a watch, and then thought that the watch peeking out from under my shirt cuff and jacket sleeve just kind of threw the whole thing off balance. Reason number two is more concerned with etiquette and being a proper gentleman. So the thinking goes that if you are attending a black tie event that the event is obviously being hosted by someone and wearing a watch would signal that you are concerned with the time, which would then be construed as an insult to the host. Like, I invited you to this fancy party, why do you need to know what time it is? Do you have someplace else to be other than this fancy party that I'm throwing? So I think both of these arguments are fairly reasonable, especially if you consider that black tie in its purest form is a pretty strict and prescriptive dress code. There are those things that definitely need to be right, like wearing a cummerbund, you have to do that. And there are those things that you should definitely stay away from. So all those things combined together sort of make black tie like the ultimate style troll dress code. But the thing is, there is not just one way to do black tie. There are many different alternatives like black tie optional, creative black tie, and I would even throw in cocktail attire into that mix. So with all those variations, it only makes sense to me that some people would entertain wearing a watch with a tuxedo. But for the ultimate definitive answer of all answers to the question, should you wear a watch with black tie, I think it is appropriate to consult the man who literally wrote the book on men's style. Of course, I'm talking about Alan Flusser. So submitted for your approval, this relevant passage from Mr. Flusser's Dressing the Man, Mastering the Art of Permanent Fashion. And it reads, Simplicity should govern the choice of jewelry for formal wear. Studs and matching cufflinks can be made of plain gold, black enamel, or semi-precious stone. Mother of Pearl, also handsome, it is perhaps more appropriate for white tie. Fine sets of studs and matching cufflinks can be found in antique shops that specialize in old jewelry. The most interesting examples are those made between 1890 and 1930. You might also look for a gold pocket watch and chain. If you choose to wear a wristwatch, remember that the thinner the watch, the more tasteful it is. Black bands are recommended. So mic drop. I'm certainly not going to argue with Alan Fluster, and the thing I want to point out most from that quote is that he does not have any sort of aversion to wearing a watch with a tuxedo. Again, and I cannot stress this enough, it's that the rules of style are guidelines. I have always been a proponent of whenever rule of style is invoked that I turn to the one rule which I consider to be the golden rule of style, which is that if it looks right and it feels right to you, then it is right. You, you know, you can know the quote unquote rules better than anyone else. You can read more books on men's style than everyone else. But the thing is that book smarts and what works in theory does not always translate into a real world success. You know, there's something to be said about going by feel instead of making a decision based on what you've been told you should or should not do. All right, so I've laid all my cards on the table. Obviously, I think it's fine to wear a watch with a tuxedo, but it needs to be the right watch. Now, what is the right watch to wear with a tuxedo? For me, there are a few criteria. Number one, it should be time only. Number two, I think a watch with a tuxedo should be in either yellow or rose gold. 
Three, it should have a leather strap, preferably black, as Mr. Flusser recommends. And finally, the watch should be on the thinner side. Now, what are the best specific watches to wear with a tuxedo? Here are five of my picks. First, I have to go with the watch that I wore with my wedding tuxedo. Obviously, not a very economical option, but one of the most beautiful formal watches in the entire world. This is the Vacheron Constantin Historique Ultrafine 1955, a very classic and elegant 36 millimeter case size, a thickness of just over four millimeters, black alligator strap, and a beautiful gold movement visible through a display case back. This watch is pure beauty in its simplicity and one of the most elegant watches that could be worn with a tuxedo. Next is a simple and beautiful watch from one of my all-time favorite brands. This is the Alanga & Sona Saxonia Thin. It's a time-only watch. There is a pink gold example, though it also comes in white gold. Dial is silver, case size 37 millimeters and 5.9 millimeters thick. The pink gold version does come with a brown alligator strap, though that is easily swapped out for a black strap if you wanted to wear it with a tuxedo. Next, an all-time classic, the Cartier Tank Solo. Again, this is a time-only watch. Case size is 34.8 by 27.4 millimeters. It is 5.5 millimeters thick. This watch has a quartz movement, which means that it's going to cost a lot less than an automatic movement. So if you are looking for a classic, timeless, and very versatile watch in pink gold at a fairly reasonable price point, I would definitely put the Cartier Tank Solo at the top of your list. Next watch is another very, very simple and classic time-only watch from Vacheron Constantin. This is the Patrimony. Now at 40 millimeters, it is on the larger side compared to the previous three, but you know, for some people, 35 to 37 millimeters will feel a little too small on the wrist. This is again, of course, an investment piece that would definitely become an heirloom in the family. My final pick is the Patek Philippe Calatrava. So do not assume that because it is a Patek Philippe that the price is going to be completely out of reach. I have seen pre-owned Calatravas in great condition for as low as $5,000. This watch is very old school in terms of size. The newest version is 36 millimeters, though the older ones that you'll see frequently on the pre-owned market generally are around 33 millimeters. This watch does have a small seconds indicator, which would seemingly disqualify it from my tuxedo watch criteria, but you know, you really cannot argue with the elegance of the Patek Philippe Calatrava. I will put pricing information for all the watches mentioned in this video, as well as links to some of the watches that I think are very fine choices from Crown & Caliber. Reminder, once again, that He Spoke Style viewers can save $150 off their first watch purchase from Crown & Caliber with code HSS150. So having watched this video and heard both sides of the argument, I want to know what you guys think. Is it okay to wear a watch with a tuxedo? Leave your comments below, thumbs up if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.